Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Clash of Clans. This is your host, this is AJ Gaming. Welcome back. Now, for anyone that watched my last video, and if you haven't, the link will be at the end of this video. It was the 2019 upgrade guide to Town Hall 12. And that got me thinking, what should I do for my next series? And as you might have known, or if you haven't known, I have a Town Hall 11. It is getting pretty close to yeah, almost max. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to get that bad boy up to Town Hall 12 and we're going to follow that guide. So over the next few days, my heroes will be maxed for Town Hall 11. So that will be uh, King and Queen will be at level 50 and my Grave Ward is at level 20. My offense that I'll be using for raiding and for war will be their already max at Town Hall 11. So I can focus on them when I get to Town Hall 12. And most of my defenses are max at Town Hall 11. I'm just adding the extra ones that I didn't add in when you get to Town Hall 11 right now. So I'm going to try to get the dump as quickly as possible. Then I'll be going to Town Hall 12 and this series will start then. I'm so excited for this. I can't wait to show you my guide and how I do things. And my base won't be fully maxed. My, I still need plenty of walls to do, but that is fine. We're going to do them together. I won't be paying for anything I, except for the gold pass, which is going to help me speed up things. So that just keeps make things much more enjoyable for you guys watching rather than just seeing a really, really, really slow series that takes on forever. So really looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoy it. But for now, I've got a couple of replays to show you what I've found in Champions League for Town Hall 11. So for anyone that is a Town Hall 11 and is struggling to find a league that has really great loot, as you can see from these replays, I'm finding literally between six to 9,000 Dark Elixir. So if you're trying to focus on your heroes, I suggest going to Champions 3. You get a really good uh, loot bonus as well. So I'm almost getting up to 10,000. Dark Elixir and literally over 500, 600, up to 800, 900,000 Golden Elixir. So, absolutely smashing at the moment, having so much fun. I'm going to miss Town Hall 11, but I'm excited to have my second account to Town Hall 12. My other account is only a couple of defenses from maxing, and then I just have to focus on walls. So, what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be doing friendly challenges from my max base to this base, which is my AJ account. And then we can, then I can show you what it's like hitting a max base. I can keep practicing from hitting different bases from different angles, so I can get a bit of practice at Town Hall 12 again. And you guys can see all different styles of attacks, which is going to be so much fun. I can't wait for that to happen. But again, as I said for now, it's still Town Hall 11, still having a lot of fun and literally most of my attacks are Electro Lunar attacks. I think they're pretty OP at Town Hall 11. Um, same as Queen Walk Miners, they're lots of fun. But at the moment, I've just been focusing on the Electro and Loons. A couple of these replays you'll see, I had my King. The later replays, I don't have my King because he's currently going to level 50. So that's gonna be awesome because he's gonna get that extra ability. And he is a great tank which I said in the last video, always great to have your heroes close together, try to get them as maxed as fast as possible, and it's just gonna be better for you and your attacks. Now you're probably thinking, you have a max town or 12, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna do any videos on it? Yes, yes I will. What I'm going to do is once I have get that to maxed, when I'm working on my AJ account, get into town or 12, I'm going to send my Max Town 12, which is rock bottom. I'm going to send him to Legends League and I'm going to start a Legends series. I'm going to do some trophy pushing, see how high I can get. I'd love to get in the top 50 in Australia and then go on from there. It'd be pretty amazing to see how far I can go, how my base holds up. And again, if it doesn't, then I can always change my base and we can build a base together at the sea if we can get as many defenses as possible and see how high we can get on the rankings. 
So I'm absolutely loving the new addition to the Legends League. I've seen nothing but praise from it, so I'm excited to finally get up there and see what I can do. Might be probably for another couple weeks. I want to get my heroes maxed, get those couple defenses done, and from then on, I'll be pushing up. I'm already in Titans 1 and absolutely loving Titans 1. So for a max town or 12, if you're not in Legends, if you like doing more than the 8 attacks a day and you're not really a trophy pusher and you want more loot, I do suggest staying in Titans 1. Uh, not only do you find great bases and the time doesn't take as long, there's not as many clouds, the bonus loot is amazing. So I've been using that to my advantage for now, trying to get this base nice and maxed. But once I do, I'm going to go straight to Legends and I am looking forward to starting that series as well. If you want to see anything else on my Max Town or Tour, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to start anything for you guys. If you want to see defenses, I'm happy to post my defense. I'm not a competitor, so I don't need to burn my bases. Or if you want to see more offense attacks, add a Max Town or Tour or at a low town or 12 when I'm doing this upgrade guide. Please let me know guys. And again, thank you for everyone that has supported this channel so far. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, now's your opportunity. Hit that bell so when I make another video, you'll be the first to know and you can watch and enjoy it. I hope you guys have been enjoying my videos. Like I said guys, just write in the comments below if you'd like to see anything, any improvements. I'm happy to listen to it. As long as it's nice comments, don't be too rude. But again, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for watching these videos in my series so far. I know it took a long time off, but I'm back making regular videos, as I said the other day. So looking forward to starting all these series for you guys. And lastly, before I forget to mention my third account is at Town Hall 7, so for anyone that is watching has a Town Hall 7 and would like to see any videos at Town Hall 7, what I'm doing on offense or defense, any attack styles, strategies, um, anything based on Town Hall 7, again, let us know in the comments below. I'm happy to even start a couple videos on Town Hall 7, having fun at Town Hall 7, hopefully to get it to Town Hall 8 very soon and then back to my favourite Town Hall which is Town Hall 9. Can't wait to get there and start doing some Lava Loon attacks at Town Hall 9. I found that to be one of the most balanced Town Halls and probably the longest as your, your King, you need 20 levels for a King and 30 for the Archer Queen so a total of 50 levels which is now the exact same as amount of levels needed at Town Hall 12. So, a bit of coincidence that my favorite, two favorite Town Halls are 9 and 12, and they're the longest to grind. But again, I'm looking forward to doing that. But for now, Town Hall 7, if you guys want to know anything about Town Hall 7, please let me know. And for now, I'm just gonna put this last replay up. This is me having a bit of fun at a Town Hall 12 base here. As you can see, it's very rushed. And as I mentioned in my last video, it's best to try to max everything out before you get to the next Town Hall. Otherwise, you're gonna cop a pretty bad hammering on defense, especially if you put all your buildings together like this one here. It is prime for an electro attack. Now, I didn't get the free stars here, but I tried to just get as much loot as possible, as again, I'm just doing a bit of farming here. Just a bit of quick farming. We, like I said, I'm not using the stone slammer. I like to keep that for war. So, when I'm raining, just use my army. Don't need to use the stone slammer. Just try to get as much loot as quickly as possible. Drop a couple rages. Use my clone spell to hopefully clone my electro. If not, I clone the loons and that's all good. And I do use my Grand Warden ability a little bit too early sometimes, but again, that comes with practice. And again, guys, this is the end of the video. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. And as always, happy clashing.